All right, what's up blockheads? We are up here at Seminole Harley-Davidson today and we're doing some test rides on the new 2020 Harley-Davidson's. We have a 2020 Harley-Davidson Lowrider, uh, which is the standard version with the 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8. And then we have the 2020 Harley-Davidson Sport Glide with the 107 as well. So these are both new paint schemes. You've got the, I forget what the name of it is, but the orange and black looks really great. And then you've got the white Lowrider. So red, white, and blue. America. So we're gonna be doing uh, test rides on both of these bikes and by we I mean myself and Anna <laughs> So it's me, it's me. <laughs> Anna. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna be comparing the bikes and then we're also gonna be giving a female perspective of riding Harleys yeah. so um, <laughs> Talk to Miss Blockhead about doing it. Unfortunately, she's working yeah. Anna was like, oh, I'll dive on that grenade for you. Heck yeah <laughs> So Anna's gonna yeah, be, I uh, time, you know, whatever. Right. <laughs> I'll go test ride some new bikes. So yeah, we're gonna be, uh, which one are you starting on? The low rider. You wanna start on the low rider? Yeah. All right, so she's gonna start the low rider. I'm gonna do the sport glide. And at some point we're gonna swap. John or Jonathan? John. John, all right, so we got John here. He's gonna be leading us. Yeah, definitely. Um, my name is John. Uh, I started here about a month ago. So if you guys, you know, you're ever up here, come introduce yourself. We'll get you on the perfect bike. Perfect so, bike. Perfect bike. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's what we're up to today, guys. We're gonna go ahead and roll the intro, and then uh, we'll test ride these bikes. See what they're like. See what Anna thinks. All right, so some quick specs about each bike. The 2020 Lowrider has an MSRP of $14,899. It has the 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8, which puts out 110 foot-pounds of torque at about 3,000 RPMs. It's 92.7 inches long, has a 26.2 inch seat height, a 5.1 inch ground clearance, 30 degree rake, and a 6.4 inch trail, and a 64.2 inch wheelbase. The front tire is a 110-90-19, and the rear is a 180-70-16. It has a fuel capacity of 5 gallons, estimated gets 47 miles per gallon. Wet weight is 661 pounds and it has a left and right lean angle of 29.6 degrees. Now quick specs on the 2020 Sport Glide. MSRP on this bike is $18,599. It also has the 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8, which puts out 108 foot-pounds of torque at 2,750 RPM. It comes standard with ABS and cruise control. It is a 91.5 inches long, has a 25.7 inch seat height, 4.7 inch ground clearance, 30 degree rake, and 5.9 inch trail. 64 inch wheelbase, has a right lean angle of 27.9 degrees and a left lean angle of 28.7 degrees. The front tire is a 130-70-18 and the rear is a 180-70-16. Has a fuel capacity of five gallons, estimated also gets 47 miles per gallon. Wet weight is 699 pounds and the luggage capacity on this is 1.9 cubic feet. Hello. Hello. Yo. All right, guys. We're gassed up. I'm starting out on the Sport Glide. Anna back here on the low rider, and John on the Road Kang. So you're saying we're doing a ride over the St. John's River yep. gas station swap out. Yep. Cool. Well, let's do it. This is nice. So Anna is coming from riding a Harley Davidson Iron 883. Yep. So I imagine a lot of the comparisons will be to that. Yes. <laughs> and I'm coming from riding an FXDR. So, first initial thoughts, Anna, on the lowrider. Super comfortable already. How, how tall are you? I am 5'6". How do you feel like coming to a stop, low speed maneuvers, putting your feet down to the ground and stuff? Yeah, pretty comfortable. Um, I don't feel like I'm uh, like on the edge of my tippy toes. So that's always nice. Makes me feel more confident when stopping. Yeah, it's one of the things with the low riders. It is a, uh, I mean, pretty low seat height. I guess it makes sense. It's a low rider. Pretty comfortable seating position. Yeah, so that's got, has the mids on it, right? Yeah, uh, got some mids. Uh, I mean, they're like more forward than my Sportster mids. Yeah, Sportster mids are like crampy as hell. Oh, look, a little donut lot. <laughs> this is where they serve donuts. 
definitely gets up and goes. I mean, I guess any bigger bike than the Sportster will do that. Yeah. Well, so one of the things I mentioned in a previous video is uh, how the 107 is a very capable engine. Everybody wants the 114, but the 107 has a very good amount of power. And then if you throw a cam in it, it gets insane, like, like scary. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I could definitely, like if I were to upgrade and get this bike, I could definitely see myself being happy with the power this engine is offering me at this moment. Yeah, and especially since, like, coming from a Sportster, you know, you've got five gears, whereas this one has six gears. Definitely be uh, better on, you know, highway, interstate and stuff. Yeah. I was editing a video for the Sportster, and the audio, like, the engine is just, like, revving so high, and I'm like, man, I'm like, I need to shift, like, in my head while editing a video, but I'm yeah. like, no, it's already in fifth gear, like, there is no more shifting. So it is very nice to have that extra, extra gear versus Harley's smaller line. So, okay, just going over those train tracks, what do you think of the suspension? That was really smooth. I didn't feel that at all. Right? Yeah. Also, the lean, it, this leans really well. This is not bad at all. It just kind of goes with your body, you know? Sorry, you said how tall? 5'6"? Five, 5'6". Six? Five, six. Yeah, hmm. and see, my feet are flat on the ground, so that's nice. Nice. Also, the seat is pretty nice. It has this like little support back here. Yeah, it really like locks you in. Yeah. Yeah. Which is nice because um, you know, when you have to have to go have step to, on it, have to yeah. get on it. Like you said, it locks you in. It's not not just like sliding around. Whenever you gotta twist some throttles and popping bottles. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Plus the seat on the lowrider. I mean, this this seat's really comfy too. But on that one, it's like extra plush. Yeah, man. I want this like on my Sportster. Right. <laughs> Don't you have like that bug seat on your sports right now? Yeah. That thing's supposed to be pretty comfy, isn't it? It's it's better than the the stock that came on, yeah. but it could definitely use an upgrade. I mean, it's one of the things that makes riding a sports difficult for the you know for a long ride. It's along with you know it has only five gears and etc. But also it just the seat is comfortable, man. Yeah, and that's crazy because you even upgraded to like the more plush version of the seat. Yeah. But I mean, it's still a stock seat. Yeah. That's one of the things like with, uh, I mean, even with the newer Sportster seats, but you know, Harley Davidson used to um, be pretty notorious for having uncomfortable seats. But with the recent models, they've actually gotten a lot better, like from the factory. You know, you would think that with the price you pay for these bikes, your seating would be more comfortable. Yeah, right. You know, but like, I gotta say, the stock seat right here, I'd be pretty happy with it, I think. Yeah. Obviously, we've only been riding for a few minutes now, but... Yeah, I think uh, whenever I was with Eric and Greg and they were talking about the seat on the Sport Glide, I forget which one of them said, like, yeah, like, I'm ready to go to Daytona. Let's go, uh, let's go have lunch. <laughs> yeah, but well, I can do that with this bike right here. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Just, yeah, we'll get the bikes back eventually. Yeah, just uh, get ahead of get ahead of John over here, and uh, we'll just lead him. Like we're going to, um, oh, what's the name of that place in like Coco? Uh, the Sandbar. Sandbar. I don't think I've ever been there. What? I actually still haven't done a ride to Coco. Wow. Yeah. Well, I mean, with the sports, it's a little difficult. Yeah. See, now to take this bike on the highway, that would be nice, but it would be nicer probably to have like a windshield network carry. Yeah, so on that note, this fairing on the Sport Glide, it does provide, you know, a decent amount of uh, wind resistance because I'm not getting, I'm not getting a ton. So like basically the wind cuts off kind of for you viewers, not you, Anna, kind of cuts off here, but you know, it's hitting like more of like the visor and not so much the GoPro. So I'm not getting like a bottling feeling at all. Ergonomics on this thing are pretty damn comfortable. You've got your standard pullback bars. That's your uh, your standard pullback bars on the lowrider too, right? Yeah, yeah, these are pretty comfortable. Um, if I were to get this bike, I would probably put some bars that were a little taller yeah. on it, because that would I think that would make it even more comfortable. But even like this riding position right here, it's not bad at all. So for the few minutes that I got to ride it, out of ten, I'd give it like a an eight. Eight out of ten. Yeah. That's nice. It's cool going over the river, right? Yeah. yeah. 
No, this is this is nice. I could see myself riding one of these. So you like the ergonomics of it? You're comfortable? Oh yeah. Yeah. Super comfortable. It's okay coming to a stop. Yeah. You like the power. And it's and it the seating position, I'm not like sitting too on top of the bike, but I'm not like too low into it either. Right. Kinda like how when I rode the street bob I said, you know, like I feel like I'm sitting too on top of this bike. Right. And then I rode the uh soft tail, the other one, and I was like, uh, you know, when I get on it, I slide back, there's no support. Right. But this is like I mean stock. It's, an, it's nice yeah yeah that seat definitely keeps you locked in and it makes you feel like like you said you're more in the bike versus on top of it and then the the rear fender i mean it comes up a good bit amount more than like the uh the street bob and stuff too yeah so sport glide very similar feeling sitting in the bike and then obviously you've got your options of storage in the back which you guys saw in the video earlier where we removed it i've got my hat my sunglasses my vest in there I just realized I'm the only one wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> you got another bag sandwich. if you want to throw it in. <laughs> okay. And then I think I think I was kind of looking at my arms with the mirrors, but comfy seat, 107, good amount of power. I like the new paint scheme. You throw a cam in that thing, high flow air cleaner, tune, exhaust, and cam, and this thing is a beast. Any of the 107s are, they really open up when you can throw a cam in them. All right, time for you to leg up on the Sport Glide, and I will leg up on the Lowrider. A little baby fairing right <laughs> so what do you think about this one just in terms first of like standing ergonomics uh first impressions i mean not bad my feet are flat on the floor so obviously the bike height is pretty good for me i can already feel that the seat's a little less comfortable really <laughs> yeah, yeah the seat's pretty plush on this thing yeah so very similar bikes but uh, obviously it has the modularity with the front fairing and the removable bags forward controls versus mid controls bar curvature is similar um, you've got two gauges on the tank on this one versus the single gauge on that one you've got a larger headlight on this one smaller both led headlights though that has cruise control doesn't it yeah yeah so cruise control on that one this one None. does not have cruise control this one has forwards so yeah forwards you've got inverted front forks on that not inverted front forks on this what is it four piston uh single-sided brakes on the front and then should be dual pistons on the rear passenger pegs on both and then you just got chrome cases um yeah yeah unfortunately we didn't get to really take any winding roads but I felt like the handling was really great on that bike all right oh my god this seat is so comfy see <laughs> <laughs> yeah i sit in it's just like so plush dude so with the forwards on the sport glide i felt way more comfortable this one i feel like i'm sitting like upright in a chair yeah i did feel like that seating position's a little more yeah like sitting up i guess dude. i'd love to like try the low rider like that bike but with these forwards because they're not they're not too forward you know like these are really not uncomfortable yeah and it's nice because your legs are a little stretched out. Yeah, yeah. So what do you prefer, the, the forwards or the on that or the mids on this? If we're talking just the foot controls, I'd say these for right now. I'd have to ride a little bit longer to like really get a feel for it, you know? Right. Um, because obviously the iron has like true mids. Yeah. And then that one, like the mids are a little bit more forward, which is even more comfortable. Um, but these are definitely not uncomfortable. Like I said, for my leg length, like they're really comfortable. They're not too far up. Um, I think, I don't remember if it was on the street pop or which bike it was, but I, the one that had like some forward controls and I was like, ah, oh, this is like kind of uncomfortable. That bike with these controls would be nice. Even more comfortable. So you would want the low rider, but forward controls. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely better on distance trips too because you know you've got your legs like actually stretched out yeah so like if you think about when you're driving a car your legs are extended yeah down to the pedals you know so it's a very like familiar position mm -hmm. so with forward controls it kind of kind of does that for you yeah well but even then like you know like i was saying on that bike with the mids being just a little bit more forward than the regular mids i have on my right. iron like those are not uncomfortable at all so that's where I'm gonna disagree with you just because of our, our height. Like I'm 5'10 yeah. and I feel a little cramped up on this thing as is. It's funny though, on, on Miss Block's low rider, you know, she's got the T-bars on it. Yeah. Which doesn't make me feel as cramped up. But yeah, I would definitely 
you know, if I had the choice, which I do, I would, <laughs> I would yeah. choose, uh, I would choose forwards for sure. Yeah. How's it feel with the lean? Pretty good, pretty good. No scrapage, I, so that's good. I just get a little um, stressed out just because, you know, it's like a brand new 2020. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, as uh, Murphy's Law would have it, that's the time when you would totally eat shit, so. <laughs> It's like, hey, here's a uh, 2020 Harley Davidson that they just totally trusted you to take out and ride and make yeah. a video with. Don't mess up. All right, so going over those train tracks with the uh, with the Sport Glide suspension, what do you think? Super smooth. Yeah. Super smooth. Yeah. This one and that one, both of those train tracks we went over. Wow. Like, you know, normally on the iron, I'd like get up a little bit because it'd go like. <laughs> <laughs> what would it do? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like definitely like you're riding on an iron. Even with the stock suspension at the highest setting, like you would need to raise up. But yeah. uh, the, the new mono shock and the soft tails, you know, adjustable, definitely uh, provides more absorption. These bars are not so uncomfortable either. It's not bad. Yeah, I think I prefer the positioning of the Sport Glide over the, over the lowrider for sure. But I think I like the look of the lowrider, especially this one in this white. It's like that metallic white, you know? See kind of the, some of the flakes in it, and then the the red and the blue stripes. It looks good. I guess uh, Melissa was saying that that's like the evil, evil. Yeah, know. the red, white, and blue design. Pink look. Yeah. Yep. It's the America look. It's nice. Oh man. It's quite nice. Plenty capable. <laughs> I'm telling you, I rode a uh, 107 with the cam in it. It was like stage one and then the cam, yeah. and it was it was like borderline scary. Like wow. I'm really surprised the uh, the back tire didn't wash out on me. So as we are approaching Seminole Harley Davidson to end the test rides, Anna, final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts is uh, these are both really nice bikes. Like I said, I'm five six, you know, average build. They feel really comfortable. I mean, either, you know, either or, I don't think you could go wrong with it. And then it's going to come down to just personal preference, you know? Yeah. Uh, personally, I think I like the low rider better. I feel like the ergonomics are pretty similar, at least like from my perspective, but I'm just a little more comfortable on that bike. And then you like the seat more. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I definitely like the seat more. Yeah. A lot more support on that seat. It's plushier. Technical term there, plushier. Plushier, yeah, scientific. Suspension test. Ugh. It's actually on the uh, Harley uh, Harley specs. If you look it up, yep. it says plushier. <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, you know you definitely can't go wrong with either of these bikes. I did keep pressing the uh, the uh, cruise control accidentally because I am not used to having that there. <laughs> oh yeah, instead of the blinker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and of the two, my preference, like I said, five foot ten. I do feel a little cramped up on this one. Mm -hmm. The seat, however, much comfier. Suspension on both of them, awesome. Power on both of them, great. Yes. Um, I do prefer the ergonomics of that one more, just with the forwards. I don't feel as cramped. Having the storage is nice, because, you know, I, I put my hat in there and my sunglasses, and I could fit my camera gear in there. And We got to come up with a term for, um, you know, soft tails that have bags. You know, like how the sports are bagger, sagger. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Anything else? If anyone wants to gift me one for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now accepting donation of new 2020 yeah. Harley Davidsons. Big thanks to Seminole Harley Davidson. I will be sure to drop all their information down in the description below. You guys be sure to hit them up. If you come up here, uh, let them know that Blockhead sent you. If you guys have any questions, ask John here. He'll help you out. There you go. That's a test ride. Female perspective. Hope you guys enjoyed it for uh, for any of you out there that you know maybe your girl's looking to ride share the video with them i do want to add a little another little comment um because i know um a lot of female riders they they think like what's something that's like not too powerful for me i'm not comfortable you could totally handle these bikes no yeah. no biggie like there is nothing you know intimidating about them i mean of course it's got the power so if you get on it it'll go but yeah like the power is there if you want it but yeah, yeah like you gotta yeah, it's not too heavy. Your feet are flat on the floor. Great bikes, great bikes. Cool, good points. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Oh, my bad. Goodbye, party bike. All right, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. If you guys want to follow Anna, I will be sure to drop her link 
down in the description as well as right here on the screen. Anyways, yeah, hit the like, hit subscribe, be part of that notification squad, that bell yeah squad. So next time you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant. Catch you in the next one. Peace.